That looks terrible. Yeah, I'd want my money back. What even is that? That's supposed to be a couch? That's just a, a big body pillow sewn on top of another pillow. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Thank you again for checking out another one of these. If you're new here, hey, what's up? I'm Charlotte. I guess you could call me a comedian. I don't know if I could go that far. I don't like to create expectations. You know, if you laugh, then great. If not, not my fault. Speaking of expectations, today we are doing, wait, what are we doing? <laughs> People whose expectations were destroyed by reality. Maybe your expectation of me being a comedian will be destroyed by how unfunny I am. I'm hoping that won't happen and I hope I meet your expectations, but uh, I feel like I just shot myself in the foot a little bit. <laughs> I have no idea what these photos are like. I have no idea what I'm reacting to today. Everything I do is kind of just on the fly because then it's not a real reaction if I'm planning these things in advance. So hopefully your expectations won't be destroyed by reality. Unlike these people. Let's get into the video. That's not mint chocolate chip. Where the chocolate chips at? Where they at though? That is just mint. Just a uh, mint ice cream. I don't know if I would like mint ice cream, TBH. The chocolate chips definitely make it a lot better, but if it's just straight up mint ice cream, then it's just frozen Listerine at the end of the day. Doesn't sound very appetizing, does it? Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. This large wall tapestry my best friend bought me versus what actually came. Are you telling me that what actually came was just your bandana on your head? <laughs> Where did you buy this from? Where did you buy this from? Wish? Probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, you guys ever bought stuff on Wish? <laughs> Prepare to have your expectations destroyed by reality. <laughs> I bought some knockoff Lime Crime lipstick off of Wish and it came and it smelled like a butt. Like it smelled like a, like a chemical butt. <laughs> Not a fan. Not a fan. But this is just outrageous. At least I got a lipstick out of it even if it smelled like butt. This is false advertisement. You should sue. I bought this pool for my family, but I guess we won't fit in it. No. No! That's not a pool. That's a bucket. Actually? Dude. Dude. That's a small pool. That's a pool that would probably, maybe you could make for some squirrels. Get a little squirrel pool going. Little, little doge pool, little doggy. <laughs> but yeah, look at the shoe. That's not, that's not very big, man. That, that pool would be like this big. Hope you get your money back. Bought new shoes online. They are two right feet. That's Nike too. Is that real Nike? Damn. Got two right feet there, bud. And I'm not talking about your dancing. Sorry, I shouldn't have said I was a comedian at the beginning. Damn it. I don't know what I am, okay? At this point, I don't know. You tell me, what am I? <laughs> blackout window panel, blackout curtains. Well, I can still see light coming through it, can't you? I feel like you would need a couple of those, you know, layer them. But then again, it's not really doing what you bought it for, is it? That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I wanna know where these people are buying these things from. Oh, this is a tiny little rug. Oh, it's from Amazon. All right, so, so wish granted, at least for this one. Yeah, that's a really small rug. Maybe you didn't get the right size. It's a possibility. That's more like a doormat. That's not a rug. Nice little mat to put in your, put in your bathroom or something. This is not as advertised. I'm calling my lawyers. I got this rug. I got this rug, but it's not really a rug. It's more like a doormat. Yeah, I want to sue somebody. <laughs> Love my new Yeezys. Oh, look at those. Those are kind of cute though. Like I know that they're not really Yeezys. <laughs> they're more like slippers, but that's kind of cute. I wouldn't be totally upset about it unless you paid $750 for those, in which case I feel really bad for you, dude. That's upsetting. $750 US, you paid $1,000 for some, some slippers that look a little bit like Yeezys. That's upsetting. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Bought a crocheted cockatiel online, but it wasn't as cute as the example pictures. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really look like a cockatiel. Isn't that a cockatoo, cockatiel? Doesn't look like that. Online shopping, man. Did anyone else go crazy online shopping during the pandemic? I bought so much random stuff, man. It's, it, it's a disaster. I had so much to recycle. I had so many boxes to take out. My building concierge was getting so annoyed with me because every day it would be like another package, another package. I've calmed down. I've calmed down a little bit, but it's like, did I really, really need that prism sticker for my window? Probably not. I used it. It's kind of coming apart, but I used it. <laughs> this is why I have trust issues. 
What's supposed to be in there? That's supposed to be full of chia seeds? Doesn't look very good. I don't think the picture looks very tasty either. Oh, poppy seeds. So it's just full of poppy seeds? It's supposed to be? That's a little weird, man. Isn't there like opium in poppy seeds? Can't, can't you have, can't you like, if you do a drug test after eating a poppy seed bagel, I'm pretty sure that it does show up on your drug test. But that's just like poppy seeds sprinkled on a bagel. This is outrageous. If that's, maybe this was just like a faulty example, like not all, not all of them look like the photo on the right and they actually are full of poppy seeds like that, but like, yo. Who just wants to just take a bite out of a, like a big chunk of poppy seeds like that? Not me. Do you? All right. At least the leaves are curly. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't really look as advertised, does it? And that's upsetting. It's still kind of pretty. I feel like you need a little more of them, a few more. And then it might be pretty. <laughs> just like some random stringy things popping out. That's too bad. But wait, you bought a plant online? Is that a real plant? It's probably plastic. Rice crispy treats with one M&M. &M. <laughs> just a single M&M. &M. <laughs> I'd still eat it though. That looks delicious. I haven't had a rice crispy square in a minute. In a minute. They make it look so appetizing on the box, don't they? Only to ruin my expectations. Same with commercials. Most of the food that you see in commercials isn't even really edible. They put a bunch of random stuff in it to make it look edible, but it's not. A friend of mine bought an iPad off eBay for $5 that shipped from Hong Kong. At least the shipping was free. Whoa, oh my gosh, that is so funny. So we, <laughs> you bought it for $5? Oh, come on, man. Come on, what were you expecting for $5? It's just a calculator that looks like an iPad. That's so funny. They gotcha, gotcha. What are you gonna do about that? They probably changed their address already. They just sell a thousand of those, change their address and just move on. It's $5 though, come on. Were you really expecting an iPad for $5? Well, that's just upsetting. I'm just disappointed. I'm disappointed about this chocolate. It's just like a, like a blob, just a chocolate blob. No bunny to be seen. It's still edible though. It looks edible, looks delicious. I'd still eat it. Definitely doesn't look like a bunny though. Looks like a dick. Spaghetti carbonara. It's just noodles. It's literally just the noodles. Where it at though? Where, where, where the bacon? Where the bacon at? That's upsetting. Did you get it from the dollar store? Probably. Chef select. I mean, you could take the noodles and make your own carbonara. It's pretty easy. You just add some, some, some egg and some bacon. Not a total waste. It's a total waste, sorry. Why am I making excuses? <laughs> Baby Yoda earrings. Yeah, that doesn't look like the picture, does it? They don't even look the same. They're not even the same. Not, not, not even the same as the picture. The two earrings aren't even the same as each other. That doesn't really look like Baby Yoda. That just looks like someone just took some putty and just there, there you go. There's a baby Yoda for you. Oh, a nice kitchen scale, but without the numbers on it. Kinda useless, kinda useless, not gonna lie. If you're buying cheap stuff online, you can't expect much. Like you really can't. Honestly, even Amazon, Amazon's pretty bad too. Like I got those lights from Amazon and like they, they were not really worth the money even though they were super, super cheap. They're probably gonna break. Most of the stuff I buy from Amazon breaks within like a week. I bought this, you know, this thing's actually holding up my microphone here, but the apparatus is actually a couple of ring lights. So I bought this at the beginning of COVID and it broke within like two weeks, but now I use it to hold my microphone. <laughs> Not a total waste. If you're buying cheap stuff online, you're not only contributing to creating a lot of garbage because, because it's not gonna last you longer than a couple of weeks, but you're wasting your money because you know, you can't just fork out another, you know, like maybe 20 bucks or something like that to get a decent one. I don't know how much you would spend. But the point is, is just invest in something. You might have to fork out a little more money, but I mean, you're gonna end up spending the money anyway when you buy something cheap that doesn't work or breaks or doesn't look like the picture. Oh yeah, that's a, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is from Wish for sure. All right, there's an explanation. It took me 14 emails and a chargeback threat to get them to refund me the whole amount for this monstrosity. Yeah, that looks terrible. That looks terrible. And it definitely looks like something you would buy on Wish for sure. I kind of want to just buy a bunch of random stuff on Wish and try it on and see, see what happens. But the problem with those videos is you actually have to put in an order, film yourself putting in an order, and then wait like two to three months for it to come. I mean, do I really want to keep a file for three months? I don't know. Maybe I'll do it in the future. For now, I will just look at things and laugh. You all right with that? You good with that?
That doesn't look the same. That looks terrible. The real one would be a dope, dope coronavirus mask though. Like that'd be cool. Like it'd be cool if you could get a mask that was literally just half your fa face printed on. <laughs> Idea! Or just like a skull, you know, like just like half your face is just like a skull. Yeah. Who's gonna do that? Who's gonna do that? Make that for me. Make it for me, please. <laughs> oh my goodness. No. So they just put on some random rubber that didn't even fit the shoe? It seems like the factory ran out of rubber while producing these shoes. Wow. Just gave zero f**ks, eh? Like zero f**ks. It's like, oh, all right, whatever. Let's just put these ones here. Yeah, it's like six sizes too small, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Why wouldn't you just give them their money back, you know? Like, why would you go through the trouble of like creating these ugly shoes that they're gonna return and get their money back for anyway? I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. All right, we got, we got time for one more. We got time for one more. No. <laughs> what? Waited a month for this. Doggo was not impressed. Your doggo doesn't know the difference. He doesn't know that you tried to buy him a pool and then, and then all that came was a tiny little felt bucket. <laughs> he looks pretty happy to me. Thank God. I, you know what? The good thing about being a pet is you don't really have very many expectations. You don't have too many thoughts at all. You definitely can't expect this pool to be a bit bigger. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Have your expectations ever been destroyed by reality? Let me know. I feel like that happens on a daily basis for me, which is why I try not to have expectations. Subscribe!